I'm absolutely fascinated with butterflies, in particular the monarch butterfly, because it makes this amazing annual migration from southern Canada and the United States all the way down to these specific places in Mexico. How is that programmed kind of within them in order to make that trip? Most of our work revolves around uh, CRISPR-mediated gene knockouts in butterflies, which is really exciting, cutting-edge genetic work. It is astoundingly simple compared to other genetic engineering techniques. I love the setting of the um, biological station because we get to understand, we see the and appreciate the biodiversity that's around us at the station. But we get to think a bit more deeply about how does that biodiversity come to be. I think it's awesome. I think it's a great, like, hands-on experience that almost no students are going to get an experience like this. You know, um, I think I'm learning new things. I'm doing things that not many people in the world have done. Monarchs have this really characteristic kind of banding pattern, the yellow, the white, and the black stripes. And so if maybe some of those stripes become slanted or they create X's, those are the types of changes that we were specifically looking for. We've uh, got our own caterpillars uh, and we're kind of like taking care of them every day, seeing, you know, giving them new leaves, new milkweed to feed on. And yeah, just waiting for them to grow and see what results from CRISPR. We're um, taking some of our hatched caterpillars and we are reading their DNA to see if the mutations we were trying to induce were induced. But it looks like in at least a few cases we do have mutations. Mm -hmm. 